I've done challenges on all the Final Freddy's games. However, next up is Sister Location, and to be honest, since it is a very linear game and it's very scripted, I couldn't think of any challenge I could do. That was until I found this dog shock collar and I had an idea. In Sister Location, you are constantly shocking the animatronics to get them to stay on their stage or because the character we play as is a psychopath. Well, what if I had to feel what the animatronics were going through when I was doing this? Well, let's test it. So in this video, I'm going to be beating the entirety of Sister Location, but every time that I have to give a controlled shock, I shock myself with this dog collar, which conveniently has 5 levels of shocking potential. So after every night, I have to increase the shock level. But also, to make it more interesting, I have to shock myself if I die, and if you've played Sister Location before, you will know which night might be a problem. So, sit back, relax, as I attempt to beat Sister Location while getting an IRL shock every time that I shock the animatronics. I hope you enjoy. Alright, so, I've got the collar on. Um, it's kind of scuffed. We're gonna, it has five levels of intensity, and there's five nights. So, I figure we might as well just do it that way, you know. But anyways, let's just get into a new game. Now, night one of Sister Location, nothing can actually kill you. However, you do have to shock the animatronics more times than any other night, so yeah, this was gonna suck. Honestly, it's not that I don't want to get shocked, it's that I don't want to play this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, let's get the first bit I own up with. So, I don't know how hard this is gonna be. Press the red button now to administer a control shot. Well, I guess we'll find out. Maybe that will put the spring back in your step. Yeah, I don't know how high this is, but let's see. That wasn't like as that wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but that's up. Now view the window to your right. This is the fun time. <laughs> this is gonna get bad. Fun time Foxy. I'm not liking this. this oh, do I have to shock you Looks twice? Like fun time Foxy is taking the day. Oh out. no. Let's motivate Fun Time Foxy with a controlled shock. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do it. <laughs> Don't want to do this shit. Oh shit. Let's try no. another controlled shock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a tiny dingle. It's, I mean, it doesn't really hurt, it's more like a, control module. it's more like, you know, it's just shock, it's like a bzzz, you know, like it's, it just feels like electricity, which is just, oh god, I don't like it. Let's encourage baby to cheer up with a control shock. I don't like it, I don't like it. This is level one! I'm gonna do it again? Let's try another control Are you shot. asshole? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Great job, Circus Baby. Oh Maybe god. We can count on you. I'm gonna start that getting heart palpitations. First night on the oh! You wanna come get me? Ah! Ah! Oh, it's so spooky. He's gonna get me. Anyway. Alright, we're up in the sensitivity to two, which is the elevator stopped. not going to be you know the routine. Night two is a bit more intense, and by that, I mean this is the longest night in the entire game, with the most stuff that you have to do for one night. The first part has the typical shocking part, which was going to suck with a higher shock voltage. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Do I have to... Oh, she's, she's vibing, I think. We're... Huh. I guess Ballora has better things to do. Let's zap it. Oh, God. That should be fun. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it will be fun. Alright, let's do this. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Two is so much worse. Check on Funtime Foxy. Make sure he's ready for showtime tomorrow. I don't think I have to zap this one. Please. Please. Great. Oh, thank God. Next, we have to survive against the Bitty Babs who are going to try and get us from under the desk, which is honestly super easy. And now we just vibe here. Wow, so scary. Honestly, this crate looks terrible. When your guide. No. <laughs> After this, we have to go through the Ballora Gallery, where we have to face off against Ballora. You need to get from one side of the room to the other where the breaker room is. However, as you can guess, Ballora is in the room with you. 
She will dance around the room and you need to listen out for her music playing in order to know when to stop moving. Basically, if the music is playing, don't move. If it stops, move. If you fail, you will die. Now, there is actually a way to cheese this section. Basically, if you press W on your keyboard repeatedly really fast, you can actually move without the game thinking you're moving, making it that below up never actually comes to you. However, to make this challenge more interesting, I decided to not allow cheese strats. So I would have to do this night and all the other night's challenges legit. However, the below section is not that hard since it's just listening for audio cues. You will now be required to crawl through the Ballora Gallery using... The last section of Night 2 is the Breaker Room section with Funtime Freddy. We have to reboot all the sections in the game without letting Funtime Freddy get to you. In order to deal with Funtime Freddy, you need to use an audio lure to lure him back to his stage. Also, if you die here, you have to go through the entire Below Gallery again. But anyways, let's get it done. Oh my god! <laughs> I like fucking triple shocked me. Ah, fuck. It like shocked me and then it shocked me again and again. <laughs> Great job. <sighs> this completes your tasks for the night. Please proceed back through the Ballora Gallery. It's with over, care, thank and god. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Night 3 is a bit more simple than Night 2. To start, you have to check the lights as usual, but you don't need to shock the animatronics, so yay! <clears throat> However, unlike last night, you need to make your way through the Funtime Auditorium, where you need to make your way through like in the Baloa Gallery, but instead of Baloa, you're dealing with Funtime Foxy. In this section, you need to use the flash beacon in order to see where Foxy is, so we don't run into him. If he's in front of you, wait for a bit before moving forward. Now again, like below a gallery, you can chase the section, but we won't be doing that. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Ah. Ah. Oh. Okay, this will be easy from now on. After you beat Foxy, you once again have to deal with Funtime Freddy. However, unlike the Night 2 minigame, this one is way easier. Basically, you just need to follow the instructions of the hand unit to progress. Also, if you mess up any step but the last one, you will still survive, so it's stupidly easy. The last section just has you needing to lure Bonbon to hit his button and finish the night. Well, I mean, until you get jumped by Foxy. However, since we don't die here, and it's part of the progression of the story, we won't use it as a shock moment. So yeah, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, yeah. Great job. <laughs> we're not counting that one. That one, that one's, that one we're not doing. Oh, here's where things get fun. Night four is well known for being an absolutely terrible night. And I do agree with this standpoint. Unlike the other nights, this night is just one single mini game. However, this mini game sucks. I mean, most of them do as well, but anyways. To win this night, you need to survive 3 minutes in the Springlock suit while dealing with mini Rainers trying to get into the suit. However, this night ended up being a lot easier than I thought and I actually beat it on the first try. Which I guess is just because I've done it so many times. Oh, come on, come on please. No, it's on level 4. Oh my god! Freedom! I don't have to shock myself. Oh. Oh. So here we are, night 5. This night is the most free, except for one section of baby, so let's just get it done. Alright, the last night. We might be good here if we just don't... Do we have to shock anyone this night? I don't think we do. I think we're good. Enter the code carefully. 
eight, eight, two, four, seven, three, eight, seven, two, nine. Good. Oh. A hatch should have opened. Oh, it's over. Take the card. That it's all over. You. Oh, I can then finally take this if we look fucking like you, thing off. Then we would have some oh. So there we are. And for those wondering, no, I'm not doing Ended Night or Custom Night because that would be actual hell with the shot card. But if you think that I should have, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe. Also, special thank you to all my channel members. You can become a member and get a shout out at the end of all my videos for only $1 a month. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.